Hello everybody, welcome. In this video I'm going to be going over a build guide for a fire trap assassin. Currently my fire trap assassin is level 91. I'm going to be going through the skill tree with you guys, showing you what you should do and what you shouldn't do. I'm going to be going over some gear options for you guys, as well as give you some tips to obtain some easy low level gear. And then I'm going to be telling you a few farming spots for with your lower tier gear you can farm to farm up and get currency to potentially get in-game gear. With that being said, let's get right into this. All right, so first I'm gonna be going over the skill tree. So your main skill tree is gonna be traps. And your main skill is gonna be wake of fire for the fire traps then. So you're gonna to wanna to max out wake of fire as well as its synergies, fire blast and wake of inferno. I would worry about maxing these three skills out first I wouldn't even worry about any of these that I have allocated I tried experimenting with the death century for a little bit but it just doesn't feel good I don't think it's even worth adding points to it to be honest and then your secondary skill tree you're only gonna want to utilize a few things on this which is weapon block I only got this put in enough points to get about 50% chance to block since I use dual, cl dual claws and then the rest of my points I've been putting in a burst of speed for the faster run walk and the attack speed, which is a great utility because attack speed scales with how fast that you place your traps down. I also put a point in the Shadow Master just to have it as a meat shield, but it's not really necessary. As for leveling, you want to use Fire Blast until you can get Wake of Fire. Then once you get a couple points in Awaken Wake of Fire, you can start using this. And from normal to nightmare it actually feels really good leveling this build once you get into hell it gets a little iffy because there's a lot of fire immunes and stuff like that i recommend using some friends to help you get through hell or get a rush or something like that but other than that it feels great leveling is this and as for stat points basically all you want to do for stat points is have enough strength and dexterity to you know just equip your equipment and your armor and your claws whatever you're using and then the rest of the points i would just blast them all into vitality pretty simple that's all you need to know about that so for gear currently i'm using a fire lizard that i crept it with a plus one all skill this really nice rare circlet that i traded for I'm using a Rising Sun, but this amulet really doesn't do anything. I noticed no difference with the minus enemy fire resistance. Actually, a Maraz or a plus three Trap Assassin amulet would probably be better for me. I'm using a Plague Claw and a plus three Wake of Fire and plus two Wake of Inferno base. This is a very great claw with the plus two all skills, and you get the Cleansing Aura, which reduces poison length and also reduces curse length using a chains of honor for the plus two all skills and the 65 all resistance is really nice for this build uh, wisp projector a little bit of mf and some absorb because i've been doing a lot of maps raven frost mainly just for the cannot be frozen because if you do not have cannot be frozen on this build it's not very good being frozen trying to play tra place traps and run away it's not fun so I recommend having one piece of gear with cannot be frozen it's almost a necessity for this build using a gold wrap for the MF and the 20 increased attack speed this is actually a really good build to start out with just because you can place traps faster with it in the MF uh, chance guards I mainly use these for magic finding other than that I swap to mage fist because the plus one all fire skills actually give you plus one to your Wake of Fire and your Fire Traps. And then uh, Natalia Soul Boots, just for the resistance and the faster run walk. And then you know your basic Trap Skillers. A Geeds, of course. Torch. And Annie. And just some random small charms. So, for low level gear, I would recommend plus three Trap Claws. These are actually pretty easy to attain you can get them from Anya by vendoring them basically all you do to this for this is you enter this portal come back out can I help trade you? her 
inner shop resets and you just keep doing this until you find a magic plus three to trap claws you want two of these for the plus six it's actually really op at the beginning for farming hell cows for a helmet i would use a plus three magic trap circulate you can find these fairly cheap or you could use a lore helmet which is also pretty good because you get plus one all skills as for an armor piece i would use probably treachery the rune word it's very cheap to make you get plus two to all skills on an assassin a lot of increased attack speed the only annoying part about the treachery is it has a chance to cast fade which cancels out your burst of speed so you got to constantly recast it when you get hit i mean it gets kind of annoying but it's not that big of a deal if you don't want to deal with that any plus one to all skill armor would work for an amulet i would use a plus three trap magic amulet you can get those really cheap as well it's also really good uh, for the rest of the gear it doesn't really matter too much because mainly what i would do for farming gear on a fire scent is i would do hell cows and nightmare cows that's what i did and i got all of this gear from hell cows either finding the runes or trading for these items so you don't really need resistance to farm hell cows because they mainly do physical damage and you're not really getting hit that often so once you get all of that gear the next thing i would work on is probably getting a full inventory of trap skillers and then i'd start working on you know just slowly upgrading your gears as for a mercenary to start out i would use an act two mercenary with the defiance aura with an insight you could probably get a shaft stop pretty cheap a g face pretty cheap or a vampire gaze string of ears some goblin toes and then some 20 increased attack speed gloves would work as for your end game you're gonna want an infinity it, it's pretty nice having the infinity for the conviction aura to lower enemy resistance so for farming spots i personally believe the best farming spot starting out with a trap assassin is nightmare and hell cow so you can pretty much find all the gear low level gear that you need for your character in them and fire traps absolutely destroy hell cows and nightmare cows i wouldn't recommend doing nightmare cows until you at least get all the plus to all skills magic gear for your trap assassin it doesn't feel very good when it's lowered level fire trap doesn't do much damage it takes a while to kill them once you start getting about plus 30 to all your skills on your traps is when it starts feeling a lot better so i'd at least recommend having the plus three trap claws plus three trap circulate the plus three trap amulet and the treachery you'd probably be good to go with just that like I said, it's really cheap to get all those items. Then as you do cows, you can slowly start getting your trap skillers. Basically what I did is just find other random skillers and trade at them for trap skillers because you find a lot in cows. And surprisingly, I've found quite a few runes in cows. I've actually found both of the burr runes to make my infinity in here, farming them. But once you get to higher tier gear, with this character and start farming other spots you know like maps that's currently what i'm farming and i'm enjoying it a lot i've been doing a lot of tier one maps making a lot of currency off of them as you can tell the demonic essence that you get from the tier one maps sell for about 1.5 high runes i found some pretty good uniques in tier one maps as well as some runes and yeah, if you guys need any help or advice with your fire trap assassin, don't be afraid to leave a comment and ask me any type of question that you need on it. And with that, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.